they have what we call policy bias. And again, these are all the changes that uh, we have to get used to. I mean, we used to dealing with Citibank, World Bank, and, uh, and their terms of engagement are totally different. Uh, and, and in a different world, we have to understand, China has policy banks, uh, China Exim, China Development, and of course now we have the China Africa Development Fund, and these are policy banks that would support what the Chinese so call their own liberalized economic development, i.e. I, I, uh, Chinese SOEs coming into Africa and, and uh, seeking investments, uh, and they will provide funding on soft terms. They don't have to go to debt capital markets to raise very expensive debts. And uh, state-owned Chinese enterprises, you know, certainly enjoy the support of um, the Chinese government. Uh, even as they come in, we have to know what we want and deal with them. What you find out with the Chinese is that they will meet you at your point of expertise. Just as the ships met our, our coast with Bush and, and dealt with us in a manner that even involves slavery, if, if it comes today, and, and we know that we come out of slavery, we come into some enlightenment, uh, then let's meet the new investors with that level of enlightenment. And um, of course, they have private enterprises all marching into Africa, into construction, textiles, and um, particularly if we, if we look at information technology, the TV, yeah, and, and Huawei are doing very well. Um, 